Hello and good morning. <clears throat> My goodness sakes, it is a bright and beautiful sunny morning today. <sighs> Thank goodness because it's cold. I looked <coughs> pardon me. Oh my gosh. I looked out across the field. So I'm Lori LaRose. I have access stamping here on Facebook. I also am on Instagram if you want to catch me over there. Um, I live on a farm. Uh, we raise bison and um, I have cows in the summertime as well. So that's if you ever hear me here telling cow stories, those are my the ones that are dear and near to my heart. Um, but um, we just have them out here in the summertime. So anyways, look out across the fields. I'm so lucky the views that I have around my place. Um, and uh, it's like frost. So it rained last night um, about 5.30 or so and unbelievable rainbow. Actually, so it's um, the ABCs of um, stamping <clears throat> and we're going to bring out a whole bunch of techniques. Sorry, my hair is doing something really, really weird and it's driving me crazy. <sighs> okay, um, I'll sit on my hand so I can quit playing with it. Um, hi, Keisha, how are you doing? So we're doing the ABCs, one, two, threes. If I could get my singing voice out, I would sing a little song. Um, can't, so there it is. Um, so... Um, okay, I'm stuttering away because I've got 4,000 things in my brain as well as I was just playing a little tiny bit because I was kind of curious. So we've done um, animals for an idea for you to work with for inspiration because we love working with animals in A. B, we brought out the baby wipe technique and made a really cool, it'd be really good if I had the cards. Anyways, made really cool cards and really good ideas. That was last Thursday. So Thursday mornings, if you... Um, if you are scrolling back, I have I have been doing lives most days for like three and a half years or so. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. Um, and uh, there it is. Okay. Anyways, today we're going to do chalks or pastels as they are more formally called perhaps. Uh, but we all, we've we all called them chalks. I'm going to pop you down because I've got lots to show you. And I just got a good idea about the rainbow. So I'm going to show you a rainbow. Um, and we'll go from there. Sorry, I'm looking at this mess that I have down here. All right. Okie dokie, smoky pokies. All right, so I'm on the right side. I will pull this in. Oops, that's a little too tight. I was making bows yesterday for a beautiful card that I made. It's out on my mantle, so it was part of the club that we have. We have a monthly membership that we play with um, lots and lots of fancy folds, actually. And um, yesterday, oh, it was gorgeous. Fancy fold was fabulous. But, okay, so I was just looking at this mess here. I might bring in a baby wipe. <laughs> Perhaps a baby wipe would be a good thing to clean some of the messes that I make. I think that some of my girls would be like, yes, Lori, clean up that mess. Okay. All right, so this is just a quick idea. This is not the chalks. This is what, this is warm up while we wait. So yesterday we had the most beautiful rainbow I have ever seen in my entire life. And I am getting old, as you could tell. Um, it was incredible. This is actually mango. So the Soft Pastels assortment is a fantastic um, starting point. When I started stamping up 22 years ago, celebrating my stamp anniversary this month, um, we there wasn't a person that came across my door or I went across their door and they didn't walk back out with um, Versamark and pastels. We had a, the, the thing looked like this, but I think I actually rehomed mine to somebody. But it looked, it came in a package sort of like this. This says watercolor pencils, but it was a big, huge. And when you opened it up, there was 48 little tiny squares. And we had all our colors. And in Canada, 22 years ago, stamp sets seemed really, really expensive. And so we did Popping Pastels is the name of it now. It was just, honest to goodness, it was just the basics of stamping 22 years ago. Um, we would buy two or three solid colors and we would go from there. So I just, pastels are something, these are not soft pastels though. So there is a difference between soft, um, soft pastels and these. I'm just thinking right now, why aren't we using these as this? But I think it's because 
but we should be able to kind of anyways anyways this rainbow was so vivid and I could not get as good a picture as it should be but I'm just playing around right now this is not one of the techniques <laughs> I've just seen if I could do a beautiful rainbow but not being an artist so the reason I started stamping 22 years ago is exactly because of this because I can't draw or stink and there it is and yet I can make some really really pretty cards that make me very happy and I was trying to think of a coloring card here um, so this one I actually did use some chalks the other day and I'm really really quickly going to uh, well, no, I won't. I was going to stamp it and show you the difference between the softness of the pastels versus the thing. I'll do that a little bit later this, eve this after this morning, I guess I'm doing, um, because this was actually the mango color and I don't have the mango handy. But anyways, OK, let's get started. Um, so the very initial thing that you can do with pastels is this. Hang on a second here. And it won't just be a show and tell. I do have a card idea, um, but not prepped or card, you know, not, not prepared, not things cut out for. That would be too, too much. So you're going to bring in your Versamark. I wanted to take it, show you a little tiny thing as well. Once you get going, and I use a lot of Versamark because I love embossing. So you use Versamark for um, just a straight out watermark on paper. Oh, for goodness sakes. If I was a real lesson planner, wouldn't that be nice? Sorry, I, I, it's not about Versamark anyways, but you do use it and you also use it for embossing. But this is like a very old um, bottle and I still have just, I've re-inked it this morning thinking, oh, I should probably do that. And I still have a little tiny bit. I could not put it all onto there. It lasts and lasts. So it's a great, it's a great investment. Like I said, for starters, these are guys are twelve twenty five in Canada. I'm from Central Alberta, Canada, and they're kind of fun, so that's not a bad thing. All right, this is what I'm going to stamp with. It's the Light the Year stamps, and I'm going to cut a couple of them out. So I will create a card as well as show you some ideas. But not having pre-done it, we'll see. I'm thinking it's going to work. I'm thinking. The one that I'm a little con concerned about is this guy right here. But we'll see how that goes. And we might need some branches. Let's see. All right. Settle down, Laura. Get going. Now we're ready. I should have a little card. Now we're ready. And then if you're fast forwarding, uh, I could say fast forward to whatever minute we're on. Hi, Connie. All right. So I do have a little piece of foam here because why? Because I'm working on with my photopolymer stamps and it's always good to have a little cushioning for them. What's also really great is if you have a block. So yay, we'll do that one in a few minutes. Okay, so, so we're gonna tap, tap, tap on the Versamark and stamp. Beautiful. We'll stamp a couple of those. I guess these are the opposite way. No, these are exactly the same. What is the difference between these? Why do I have two of these? I mean, I know what I know the stamp does. Sometimes I wonder the choices that we're going to see what the difference is between those. The difference between um, not the difference. Sorry, what Stampin' Up thinks is important, and what I think would be a good one to have as a second one. Um, I think we'll work in small batches. I have to sneeze. Excuse me, sorry, pardon me. <laughs> well, pretend it's the chalk. It's not. Um, I was digging up um, in my garden. Okay, so on the end of the pick a tool, there is a little scraper guy. And um, back in the day, ours were fairly soft. They were formed into a little pat, but they were much softer. So I know we just we just brushed along. And that doesn't seem to work with these guys as well. So you do need to have some sort of scraping tool. <clears throat> you can do it a couple different ways. If I'm going to be cutting out, so I'm going to scrape directly on to the, the thing. I am going to take this off of here, though. And I'm just going to scrape. So you just scratch. OK, 
Okay. And then I'm going to take my little guy and I'm just going to smear around and those guys will pop. So it wasn't, it's not a bad name, this popping pastels. And I think I'll come down just a little tiny bit for you. And those guys will pop out. The one thing that I used to say to people, <clears throat> excuse me, is that um, it definitely halos. So it gives a soft glow around it as well. Now, if you are working, and I, I will be working on a project, I think as well later, but say you can just scrape onto there, pick it up and bring it over as well. And it works just as effectively, potentially. I Potentially even better. Who the heck knows? But, but you do need some chalk on. So I think I've seen some people working with, um, I'll do it with the next one, with um, the blending brushes. And that could work as well. So let's see. We use, we used, we went out and found a whole bunch of these flat, pokey tipped, because you'll see, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you about six ways to work with your, your chalk, your pastels, your chalks. Okay, so there's one. Now, if you really, really, um, we're going to keep this on and you're like, oh, you can actually come in and erase as long as you have a clean edge. You can erase some of the smudge around it. But I always think, why bother? No, today I can't. <laughs> I will say some colors maybe were erased better. I feel like that's a dirty one. We have, um, sorry, we did have a little tiny eraser. Um, it used to come with it and it was um, a fine little, I think it was a slightly different rubber. Okay, I'm gonna stamp this guy. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, sorry, I, I really do need my blocks. Hold on a second. One moment, please. There's one. I see a. I see one for the next one. Okay, so again, bring in my stamparatus. Not a stamparatus, a foam. You guys are like, what are you talking about, Lori? Now I just inked this. I'm curious because this is a um, one of those distinctive ones. Now I'm not even on there. Hopefully that worked beautiful. This one I'm excited about because I'm gonna do two levels. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can figure this out. So I'm going to put on, oh, I didn't want that. Hang on, what was I gonna do this one? Is this evergreen in here? No way, what is this? Mossy metal. You might want to roll in a lot of mess. So this will be curious. I'm curious to see. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Oh, we can add a little bit of depth. Okay, let's do it. I wondered how much more powder it could take with another layer. So it's granny apple on the bottom. And then some, as I looked at this color and realized that's a better pine boughs. Adding in some mossy meadow. And I can stamp a whole nother one and see what it looks like down the road if we need to, just to do it Mossy Meadow. But I'm thinking I like the brightness and the depth of this. All right. Do, 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 do. So now, sorry, I'm just, I, I'm balking on what color I want to use now. That's me. That's me. I am going to use... So the one thing that we definitely have is a little bit of limited colors. <laughs> I have spoiled back in the day when I had 48 colors. So everything was perfect, basically. We just um, got to coordinate perfectly with our DSPs and the card stocks. When I very first started stamping, one of the reasons, well, the whole reason I think I started and loved it so much was because I literally could... Um, stamp in every color or do this and I never there all the fuss so I used to only have one black ink pad initially when I started stamping before stamping up and a I didn't do it very much and b <clears throat> 
it was um, pretty blasé kind of because everything I stamped in black because it didn't coordinate with the papers. If you stamped in a red, well, then you had to find the right red paper. Well, now we have the right red paper. Everything's coordinated. It's so beautiful. I love it. So I love the coordination that Stampin' Up! gives us. Um, we actually have a fabulous join the team special right now. Um, you get to, for the $135 with no shipping, you can choose $206 worth of stuff and get started yourself down this joyous journey. <laughs> that was a double J. Okay, so I'm being a little bit fussy here because why? You know I want to put some yellow inside here. And so we'll see how that goes. All right, so there's my that guy. And I really wish I had a true, a lot, a true cleaning thing. I really thought this did work. I know. Let me... oh, hang on. I just added, <clears throat> I just added my dirty fingers to it. Hang on. Let's see if I come around here. Yeah, there. It's cleaning. So don't rub back and forth. Do more of a swipe. And my fingers are dirty, so I'm going to take a clean Q-tip. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I am getting that cleaned up. A little bit. And I don't mind the halo on the other stuff, but of course I want that to be yellow. So that cleaned that up nicely. <clears throat> All right. Now, I don't know how great our yellow is going to look. And this is, um, it is Daffodil Delight. Good. So this is actually working lovely, the scraper on the bottom. That is the end of the pointer stick. Um, I quite like this little guy. This putty, I have honestly, I've never changed and it just seems to do the trick. <laughs> Dirty as it is and squash as it is, maybe I am doing it different than other people. I am kind of, um, so this is actually a little bit of a different technique. You can add color with a Q-tip to where you'd like to have some color on plain paper. So not on the Versamark, just there. And on the other lantern, I will show you as well. Um, how you can paint with chalk. Okay, so coloring. And again, I'm not sure why. I don't think we can stroke across here. I think it, it just it just about works, but it's just easier. You'll save your, your tips of your stuff. So I'm literally picking up chalk and using it to color in a white space. Okay, there is no Versamark in there. Now some of it would come off, but it's such a small amount. Um, and people are not fingering your cards, so it's you're fine. If you really think, oh, it's so beautiful, I'd never want it to shift, just buy some cheap hairspray. We used to take these outside and give them a spray to set it, supposedly. And honestly, I don't know that it needed to be done. All right, so there you go. There's your pretty little guy. And it it comes off, but it doesn't. And I'm thinking the next time it doesn't even, right? So people are not touching your stuff, bottom line, right? Come on, people aren't touching your stuff. Just in case of a mess, I'm going to just clean this out of the way just in case something happens. We're just gonna get rid of that guy. And I will cut this guy really quickly because we're going to use him. Oy! <laughs> we're going to use him. So this set does have dyes. But you know, sometimes when I'm doing this, ah, I'm coming around so close. I'm sorry, little guy. Not on purpose. I do like to keep a little bit of a white edge. Um, when I make cards with the kids, we go into the classrooms and make cards. The kids make notes, write notes to the seniors in my community, and I deliver them to the independent living apartments here. Uh, the notes are so fabulous. The 
The response to this program has been so cool. I well, gladdens my heart. So I'm hoping to get back in there um, in November. And um, when I watch the kids cut, I always am telling them, oh, leave a little tiny bit of white space. It's very, very hard to cut right along a line. It's much easier to pretend you're cutting along the line, but you've got that little bit of movement, right? So there's that guy. We do have a candle to put on there. So we'll do that in a nanosecond. I'll save that to cut out in a few seconds. And then I need um, the other lantern. So again, bringing in this guy and the other guy. Uh, I feel like I took everything out. I did. <laughs> you guys are like, it's right probably there somewhere, Lori. Yes, you're probably right. I told you that I found this, so that's nice. Oh, never forget. That is missing from the set, and I didn't know it. That's bad. I prefer to know that I'm missing stuff than find stuff and be like, what? Was I missing that? Do you guys lose your stuff very often? <laughs> All right, Friday nights are a fun night around here. If I am losing stuff, you get to have a little cocktail while I'm looking. Well, maybe not while I'm looking. Maybe just, just each time I go to look. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty outside. The blue, blue skies, the green, green pine trees, yellow leaves. Some of them are still up around my area. Most of them are gone. Okay, so good squash on there. Lift that little guy up. And just one second. So I was cleaning out under spruce trees that I haven't cleaned for a while. <clears throat> okay, I think I think I'm gonna go the same color. Sorry if that's kind of boring to you. This is where I kind of am like, okay. Can we go faster? <laughs> yes, we can. So I literally, I can't see it much better than you guys, just in case you're like, oh, you're magic. I am magic. It's a little, little bit like magic. I just, I have half an idea that obviously once I find it, I'm going straight down. So pretty. So the touch that I have on this is so soft. It's just soft. I'm not digging around. I think you have the potential to smear your Versamark if you were like rubbing too hard. So it's a soft touch. You just want it to, to get on there. And this stamp is, um, like I said, the distinctive. So you don't, you, you need to watch how how much ink you put on it, but you need to have enough. So it was a little bit of a pressure cooker when I came on with it. <laughs> All right, so it, um, why I keep going back over it a little tiny bit is each time I go over it, it seems like it darkens up a little tiny bit and I like I like it, so then I keep doing it. <laughs> okay, so my Versamark is quite dirty. Uh, to save a little bit of that dirt, it's that. Mostly that's because of other techniques that we do, which there is one that we almost could do with this. Um, but um, I don't know that I will do it today. Okay, now that's darn clean, but I'm just gonna give it a slight wipe. I think the cleaner your eraser is, the better you are there. And just a, just a little wipe doesn't hurt it. Let's go with that. Nice. So um, when I was doing that, I was trying to be careful not to go on the Versamark, but in reality, I know I was hitting the Versamark and it was all fine. Now my fingers are dirty, so that's why I'm trying not to touch too much, but you can touch this just in case you're like, geez, she's trying to really avoid that. It's okay, okay? I'm going to bring in my aqua painter and I'm gonna do the yellow. And I'm pretty sure I can now pick up straight off of here. So I'm just getting my aqua painter started. Okay, cross your fingers, guys. I haven't done this for a while. Oh, and I feel like I have nonstop red in my, 
I don't know if I'm always using red. The last time I went to use this, there was red in it as well. I don't want red. Okay. Okay. Looks like it's clean now. Ta-da! Nice. Sad about the little red down at the bottom. So I don't know if you can see, I'm swirling around. I'm trying to pick up a fair amount. Again, probably because I'm impatient. What I'm not positive about is the blending ability of this. <laughs> not being much of an artist, um, that would be something that you can play with. Uh, I would let it probably dry and then you could probably add in some fancy fancy fold stuff not fold I don't mean that sorry that's just me alliterating but I think smooth and continual will be your but I do have a fair amount on there and I'm just going for even coverage at this point okay Nice. Oops, and I'm down here at the bottom. And I said I was going for even, and you, you guys probably can see there's lines. It's light. It might be dirty. Nobody cleaned this for a while. So that has a little tiny bit of buckling. I don't know if you can see that because it was quite wet because my thing keeps coming out. I am kind of curious what happens if you scrape. So I'm not scraping the wet part. But if you pick up the powder... Okay, so it's probably easier to scrape a little tiny bit and then be coloring, but it's all good. All right. Nice. Perfect. Lovely. Uh, what's this called? Lamp number two. So cut that out. Cut that out, you guys. So plans for the weekend, you guys? I am heading to Victoria. I'm kind of excited. I won't actually be live next week. You'll have to come back and watch th these guys, these this week's and last week's and the week before's <laughs> cards. Um, I am actually heading out to Victoria. I'm going to go to Bouchard Gardens next Monday um, after my daughter races um, Rose, right? She races um, in Victoria next weekend. And so I'm heading out a little early to enjoy some extra fall and to visit Miss Keisha actually. Keisha and I met online right here and uh, I got to go see her. I guess it was last, was it last April? Stampin' Up! had something going on and I was like, hey, I'm going to come out. And she was like, hey, I want to meet you. And I said, me too. Keisha helps me with all my graphics and stuff and ideas. So over on Creativity for Everyone, there is a new color inspiration challenge. We've, we've given up for right now the monthly colors over there. And we're going with some color combinations for you guys to work with. It may be much easier. It could, And I think it's going to be really fun. So there's a picture of inspiration as well as. Um, and the picture is photo credit to Keisha. <sighs> Who likes to photograph so that's kind of cool all right so there's that all right and then i'm going to do the little candles and i did not pull the candle out though my candle is a red mass i should have seen it Hoo -hoo. photopolymer loveliness of that it is okay bring a little piece of white and my versamark Two of those guys. I did see a cute card where they stamped several of these guys. And um, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Oh, and they and some of the greenery, and they made like a you know how you can make a centerpiece wreath. So 
I kind of almost daub it on first. I don't want to smear the image. I hope that makes sense. I hope you can sort of see what I'm doing. And, and I always assume everybody has done something like this, but if you have not, um, yeah, watch, watch how I'm doing it. Cause I think if you just smeared it, you'd, um, you'd, you'd literally smear the Versamark, right? That makes sense. So you, you I'm tap it on to begin with. Then I rub it softly. I do think it enriches it to tap it softly. And then I want to bring in that yellow, which I thought I had an end of. And do a slightly darker of that. Put some yellow on there for that flame. And if it's a little orange, it'd be okay too. All right. Cut those guys out. I don't have a lot of stories to tell you, do I, it seems. I'm very sad about my, I'm very happy, I'm thrilled. And I did just look at it, but as a person that tries to capture moments and beauty, it's hard not to, um, taking the pictures actually for me, I think enhances my experience. So after I was like, well, I can't take the picture. Part of me is like, well, so now do I just stare at the, the, uh, sorry, I've got to concentrate to cut this guy out. Um, do I just stare at the rainbow now? Huh? <laughs> when you're used to doing something with the rainbow, right? It's just, it's a, it's a slightly different mental. Ooh, I cut that awfully close over there. Right, there's one and two coming right up. Um, anyways, but yes, yeah, so I uh, reached for the phone right away. I called my mom. She's like, oh, isn't the rainbow beautiful? I was just coming to the phone to call you. I had just happened to look out. I was um, about to dish up supper and I looked out and I was like, what? I... I, it was like the most extraordinary. I mean, we don't get a ton of rainbows, so they're all extraordinary to me, but um, it was unbelievable. It was just so unbelievable. All right, so I'm going to, so that's the difference between these two. Um, I think I like the painted one, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and, and paint over top of this guy, guys. I have to, if I'm making a card, I have to make them the same, obviously. And we decided that we like scraping it. So why don't you scrape it, Lori? Hmm, okay, I will. Um, it was a full, full rainbow um, over our field and through my orchard. It was incredible. It was so, so I have a pond and it was so bright, it was reflecting in the, it, it's a quite a dark pond and it was reflecting in the pond. It was like crazy beautiful. All right. So I think a little bit of water is good to smooth out all the chalk. I think if it's um, still kind of powdery if that makes sense because we're, of course we're putting it on as powder but if it's like wet chumpy powder you need to be able to smooth that out now you also can use blender pens and i will try that in a nanosecond on a different piece all right i'm going to glue this on to here so this set, I think, is a little bit of a sleeper set. I don't think people are loving it as much as they should. But I think a little tiny bit of that is, honestly. I'm just going to cut off the end of this. Not because I want a different height, but I want it to look like it's coming up out of there. And it doesn't look like it if it's... Um, you know what I mean? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, where'd my other guy go? Oh, there he is. I'll have the same dealio with him, I'm guessing. Need to have him cut off. 
So it's straight off after all my hard work. A little tiny bit of glue. Dun 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 dun. So I've been swimming lately. Some days they have some music and some days they have different music. And it, I, I kind of like music. They started having, um, they have an underwater speaker. I'm like, that's good. Some songs sound good on the underwater speaker. Some are just kind of tinny. Oh, I need this little red bow, I think. That being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll stamp the bow, which I pulled out. Where did I? Oh, I was going to do this too. Hang on a second. I, um, I'm kind of curious. That bow is not going to fit on there. This guy will not fit on there either. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, I have an idea for this guy. Let's see how it goes. One thing about Versamark, you do want to clean your stamps within a reasonable time. So after today, I will definitely go and clean mine. There are times, I know some people would be aghast, but there are times when I don't necessarily clean my stamps immediately, ever. Um, so I'm gonna try and mix green and, green and red, and I'm going to assume, oh, this dark green might be better. So we'll stir that up with my finger, and I think that's gonna make a brown. She says, <laughs> it's going to make a brownie green red. Look at me go. Look at me. There is no brown in here and I made brown. I'm so clever. Stinking Lincoln. Okay. So as you can see, I can also use fingers <laughs> and you can. So that, did that look like I was a little rougher? Okay. But I tapped it. So once it's, once it's, um, and my finger is softened, like there's no oils right now because it's got chalk on it, do you know what I mean? So I'd be less, I'd, this feels different than this, if that makes any sense, because that's not, now it will eventually not. But um, there is a difference because I basically have a barrier of chalk on that finger. But I did tap it so that I didn't smear, and then I went from there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it really doesn't come, well, it doesn't come off the popping pastels anyways, for the most part. Okay, we're going to cut that guy out. Now I could do this several times. They'll be all a little bit different colors, obviously. Um, so that is one note that obviously when you are coloring, you guys have heard me say sometimes when I'm working with purples in sunrises and bringing in um, my blues or um, some reds and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make, it's gonna get muddy. In this case, I wanted it to go muddy, but you do need to be aware um, if you're doing backgrounds that you don't want them to muddy up, okay? I'll do a couple of these guys. So if you use your paper and just give her with, um, chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> how do you like that for a sound? If you, this is where I love the Instagram reels because when I'm doing these parts, I can speed it up like seven times. And all of a sudden it's like, Roo, there, I'm done. So if you are watching on the replay, would love to see that this is something that is, you might try. Um, it's kind of fun. If you are a beginner stamper, this is right up your alley because it's not very expensive to get started. Some paper and whatnot. Um, and a basic black ink pad. In this case, all of these stamps are solid images, but many of our stamps are outline, especially nowadays. We really have lots and lots of outline stamps, um, but you can, as you saw, paint with the chalks as well. And, uh, and so it is just another. And if you are an avid stamper, it just adds a whole bunch of diversity, diversity, versatility to your repertoire. And it's, as you can tell, if 
you were doing this instead of watching me or and I hope that you like it as much as it I know I have watched people coloring um that's why Bob Ross I think was so uh pop popular pop if you want to be popular um I think he was because people enjoy just sitting and watching right so but yeah let us know that you're watching and then that makes me know that okay this is okay this is a good idea we'll keep doing this we are doing the abc so we're on this for like 52 weeks do 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 lots of different techniques along the way some that you will have you'll definitely know some that you're going to revisit some may be brand new to you um, um and then we'd love you to post what you're doing with the stuff over on the creativity for everyone sites to inspire everyone. Everyone loves, in excuse me, everyone likes inspiration. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna try this, <gasps> maybe purple, no, blue, ugh. Okay, this is where we get into a little tiny bit of trouble when, oops, I don't have the colors that I necessarily want. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to stop you bouncing and I think I'm making you bounce more. Let's see what this pretty color is. I just don't think this is gonna look good with that as a bow. And the red is, um, it must be poppy, right? Did I say poppy ever? Uh, poppy parade, <laughs> she says, <laughs> it's poppy parade. Not a surprise to this one. So yeah, I definitely want to distribute the chalk on especially with a really solid one like this guy with tons of detail. Um, I'm actually really pleased. Obviously back in the day, we didn't have this much detail on some of our stuff, but you definitely want to not smear that detail. You want to preserve that detail. So this is a beautiful bow. First place. I'm just not, I do not think that it's going to go with this. <laughs> no. Okay. Where is that bow? He's there. I'm going to see, actually, we're going to, we're going to see. I'm not even sure what color I want this. Um... And none of this, um, sorry, I'm, A, I'm looking for a piece of paper, and B, I'm looking for a thing. I'm just curious, I'm actually, uh, I think, so I'm curious if how a stamped image is going to look with all chalk. Um, and then I'm, and I'm also trying to think which color I should use in the, in the very first place. So I'd like the idea, but I wonder what that will do with my red candle if I bring in a Thing. So I'm kind of feeling like I need to go with a pretty peacock bow. Sorry, bouncing you around. So I promised you a rose garden. No, um, nice. That's I think gonna look nice, and I think it'll be okay. I beg your pardon. I don't want that color. I was, if you're wondering what I was doing, just ignore me. I was, this is the wrong blue and I was scared it was actually, it would color in. Um, but I was wondering if, if I had a color, if I could soften it sort of, but there's no color that I want to blend with it. So Then I'll put this all together. I'm going to show you one little idea because there's several for this. I could be on here for five hours and I'm pretty sure that we don't all have that much time, even if you're fast forwarding like crazy. And I will put this together. I might not go and cut out um, the little extra pieces that I have in my mind, you know, to build a card on top of, kind of. You know what I'm trying to say. But I am so close cutting today. I don't know where my brain is. Ah! 
<laughs> so then as I said, I get even closer. Well, I think a little tiny bit when, I, when I'm when i at being a speedy Gonzales, that doesn't help. And then it doesn't help when it's like, well, now you got to get closer there. Oh, now you got to get closer there. Ah. All right. Crazy. Crazy lovely. That's off, off thing. That'll be nice, I think. So, yeah, it looks fine. Go from there. And then some greenery. All right. So, now that I've pulled that in like that, I can I'll pull this in. And we'll have a little bit of an idea. So I need what I what I still need, and I, I know I don't have, but like circles, or I was thinking um there's a pretty dome from the um a garden set online, and then some greenery. And I'm gonna need to do a little bit more greenery, obviously, to finish off the card. Oh, you know what? I forget that this is two step stamping all the time. You know what? At the very beginning, remember when I was like, why are these the same? And I'm still looking at it and being like, why? Why are they the same? Um, this is two step stamping. And so these are actually, they are exactly the same on purpose. Hello, Lori. Because you actually would stamp and then stamp again for a fuller look. This one's absolutely stunning when you double stamp him. This guy is quite pretty. I did work with him last night. I don't think I have, the, oh, I do, I have them right here underneath my tea. Ah, let me have a drink of tea and bring it out here. So this is, um, I'm trying to show, anyways, I, I don't have the, the to and fro. I don't have the two part of that one. Anyways, but he's beautiful. Uh, I only did one stamp on him on purpose because of the Versamark situation. He gets a little bit more definition when you do a second second one on there. This one's the most beautiful two-step, and then that's why these are the same. Because honestly, just now I was like, we need one to go the other way. Oh, yeah. And that one's thinner than that. Oh, yeah, because that's supposed to go over top. Even stamping the same color, it just adds a bushiness that is pine needles, basically, right? Pine, pine boughs. Anyways, okay. So we'll have something like this going on. And then some lovely words. And do I have any words here? You are amazing. <laughs> All right, so that is those guys. Now, if you are wanting to hang around for a couple extra seconds, I had I had three more ideas going on here, but I will I will save you a little tiny bit. Um, one was to actually stamp on a piece of crumb cake, and because I'm just going to do a small amount, I'll just bring in a small piece. If I put this right here, if you're coming in, you'll be like, oh, that's beautiful. I do love this blue. I'm going to leave that there so you can see it. <laughs> it's very pretty. You know what? Doing this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a little strip um, and do like all bows kind of and have this in your pastel. So when you go, you'll be like, oh, that's what that does and have like a little repertoire of things. Okay, so I am um, using my very favorite, I love this leaf collection. And so I'm just gonna stamp um, it onto the crumb cake and we'll see how that goes. And I am definitely gonna have to stamp down as much as it's on a block. I'm not quite sure what I, I was doing, except, well, I do know. I'm gonna put this on here. Do, 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 do. Sorry. To have a variation of leaves on here. So pressing down. Oh, and I can put this guy in here somewhere. That'd be nice. Tuck him in underneath here. Nice. Okay, cover that. Fun. Oh, look so tone on tone is gorgeous this is a beautiful stamp it's just absolutely stunning that's all in yellow so I could do the whole thing now in yellow and we could see but I'm going to do a couple different colors on here and see how it goes and I'm just going to do a um, direct 
to um, paper idea here. Oh, I'm gonna bring in some purple. I wonder what that'll look like. Yeah, I love purple. Some green alligators. And some red. Maybe some of this blue too. So I, the very softest touch I'm doing right now, and what I don't want to do is mix everything together. <laughs> so I'll do a couple with fingers, and it's going to take a fair amount of chalk because this is pretty solid. You can get really going here. Woohoo! So I do have that purple in there. Remember, I want to be a little bit careful. I'm going to bring some more bright yellow over here and down here and I'm going to put some more blue on here. How pretty is that, hey? Purple was my least favorite, <laughs> which is surprising. I'm going to cover them up a little tiny bit. I'm going to just have a little tiny bit more yellow on here. So it's a nice, soft, muted color there. So that's that guy. And bring in a little Kleenex. So that on, um, I'm not sure where we would put that on to. I'm just wondering about making a card out of something like this. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty, right? And then you could have your stuff. So that's one idea. And for sa time saving, no, another day I'll try it on black, or I, rec I asked you guys, go ahead and try it on black. Um, I did get to paint, so that's good. Um, I think, I'm sure that is late. I'm 92% sure it's late. So I'll, I'll let you guys go with, with that idea. Um, so on, um, oh yeah, it's just right on time. Okay, so this is beautiful. So definitely from there I could create something. I was going to... Um, I don't know what the heck I was going to tell you guys. I had um, the wreath from the skates out. Oh, here it is. And I was going to give this a little try. And I think he would be quite lovely. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a nanosecond of it just because it's going to be on black uh, so that you guys can see what it's like to have it on black. And because it's a really small space, I will also bring in the... Um, what do you call it? So tomorrow night I'm here live at eight. It's a cocktails and cards party. Um, bring bring a, a little drink. Drink just drink with caution if you're going to play the drinking game with some of the other girls. We get a little bit rowdy around here. No, we don't. I'm totally teasing you. Um, we could though, but the way that I lose things all the time. <clears throat> so they play a game that when I'm misplacing stuff, I said that, but I found my black without even looking. It was right here. Ha ha. But as I'm looking for things that I'm sure I had right there, um, we, we play games. When you're stamping on your piece of foam, make sure there's nothing underneath your foam. <laughs> You get a little bit in trouble then. Okay. Oh, rats. I'm going to do this. Do it right, Lori. I, um, each time I was stamping, I was picking up. I, I was trying. I don't know. I felt like I didn't have enough hands. Ta-da! Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go grab my Versa and my um, little blender pen. And we'll see what blender pens look like. If I can find one quickly. 
So blenders, blenders, blender pens come in packages of three. I used to think it was so that I could split them up and share them with you, <laughs> which I still can, but, um, but it's all the tips. And then your tips, although you can clean, these are amazing pens. We hardly use them now that we've got blends, but we used to use these a lot to pick up ink to color. You can also pick up chalk very nicely and it does sort of set it kind of nice as well. So um, I can, I can come off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that whole scrapey thing again. I kind of like the scrapey. We didn't scrape back in the day, so this is kind of new to me, but at the same time. So picking up, yeah, you can see. And then coloring. So I believe this is much better for a smaller area. I'm just, I'm curious if I, I feel like, I feel like I like the water pen better. Um, I was trying to figure out if I was shredding my paper, which I definitely shouldn't be with how light I'm touching. But I feel like... Okay, and so then um, if you were using this with ink, just a really, really fast lesson with blender pens. If you've never seen a blender pen, we're past the bees, so we must not be doing that. Um, you pick up a little bit of ink and you can color like crazy. Okay. And then to clean the end, you just rub it until it becomes clear. And so the tips, you actually can kind of use them. They can stain. They still might have a stain, but they still um, are clear. Do you know what I mean? And so that was that's always the cool thing about them. That being said, when they're all stained, they're kind of weird. And it doesn't transfer, but it still feels like, Whoa! So having a couple designated ends for yellows and reds and blue, and then you don't need to be cleaning them so much. I'm going to bring in the this. I was just going to... A, this is much faster, and I think it's nicer. So I do like blender pens for my inks. I'm not sure that it's my chalk go-to. All right, so just so you had the idea of how that kind of went. Hopefully I got enough off that I'm going to go with red here red berries oh you know what I should have gone with some blueberries I'm going to I'm going to go with blueberries down here knowing that knowing that poppies is not my very favorite color I do like the idea of having a um so you you will be working in several areas around your paper mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, I could color forever, couldn't I? Coming to life, as they say. Beautiful. So you want to work with a black ink um, to some degree or else you'll smear. Got lucky with that. I think Versamark and chalk works as well. I don't know what I'm going to do here. You know what? I watercolored that. Let's see if when you watercolor, if you can erase it, if you're not happy with what you did. <laughs> okay, so the watercolor evidently sets it quite nicely in there. That is not erasing at all. So I don't think you need to worry about hairspraying it. <laughs> it's in there. There's no coming back. I'm going to see if I can cover it up. Yeah. Okay. I'll work on that. Okay, girls, I'm gonna let you go. I will finish off this, this guy and you can see the finished product of it. So you can go fairly heavy or lighter. So I think you really can play with this more than I think at this point. So I'm gonna play with it some more, but I'll let you guys go. 
and I wish you a very happy, sunny, beautiful, sunshiny day uh, over the next couple days because, of course, it's morning now and we don't see each other until tomorrow night, live at 8. It'll be great, as they say. Um, I'm going to do the eucalyptus a darker color, <laughs> but I'll let you guys go. I... Um, I say, but am I going to get off here? No, I am not. Look how pretty this is. All right, I recommend pulling these guys out. If you have the very old set, oh, for goodness sakes, pull it back out. The one thing that you won't need to do if you have that very old set is um, grate them off. They will, uh, they don't need to be grated, basically, is what I guess I'm saying. We used to just poke into the, the pot all the time, and it was perfect. All right, ladies, I will... Um, I will talk with you guys tomorrow night. Have a wonderful day and happy mm -hmm. chucking. Oh, you use some... Yes. Um, I can't see your name. I think it says Kathy. Kathy uses them straight to paper and absolutely. Um, there's all sorts of different ways with that as well. Um, but yes, I love, I love the pop and pastels idea and the idea of adding them to our stamped images. I'm not good enough to add them direct to the paper. <laughs> teasing, not teasing. Um, they do make lovely backgrounds. So yeah, so that's that's fabulous. I do like working with them um, straight with the Versamark. But yes, I'd love to see some of your stuff, Kathy. Put them over on um, Creativity for Everyone and people will be like, oh, I see what she's talking about. That'd be perfect. Oh yeah, Lori can't do that. <laughs> All right, I will talk with you guys later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.